Hi there and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on using the scripting features of the FMUD Flash client. Uh, for this tutorial I'm using the Iron Realms Congregate version of the client, but the scripting is the same whichever one you're using. OK, in this first uh, tutorial we're going to look at creating um, a couple of simple aliases and a variable. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is look at creating an alias for a basic attack. So if we click on Settings, and we want to be on the aliases tab up here. And the first thing we're going to do is click the new button. That will give us a, a blank alias uh, that we can modify. A pattern. This is um, the command that's going to match the alias. So we're going to double click on that. And we're going to have something simple like A for attack. And we're going to use a wildcard, this asterisk here. Uh, this means that it will match whatever we type after A. Okay, and then in send, this is what gets sent to the server. Double click to edit, delete that. And the attack for this character uh, will have swing. So swing, and then we use this symbol, the uh, percent symbol, and one. This will match the first, uh, first pattern match from here. So we had uh, the asterisk here, whatever this asterisk matches will be substituted in here. And then we just need to make sure that's enabled because all, uh, all aliases aren't enabled by default. Okay, so once that's done, we can just click on OK. Now to test that, if we type, for example, A Weevil, there we go. Uh, it'll send Swing Weevil, so that's a little bit, little bit quicker to type. Uh, we still need to type Weevil each time, so if we want to improve on this, we can create a variable to hold that target. OK, so let's click on Settings again. And again, we're in the uh, Aliases tab, and we're going to create a new alias which will set a target variable. OK, so click on New, and let's have T. T for target, and again, we're using the, the asterisk as wildcard, so whatever we type after the T will match. And this time in the send box, we're going to create a variable. And we're going to call that variable target. And we're going to use the, this keyword here. And this is an array that matches on the patterns from here. And we've only got one pattern, one asterisk. So we have this one. And then we'll use an echo. To remind us, give us a, a visual indication of what the target is set to. Okay, now this is um, the syntax of this is JavaScript. Uh, it's quite simple, and we need to enable this again. And because we're using a script this time, we don't want these commands to be sent directly to the server. Uh, we need to make sure the script box over here is ticked. Okay. So we can just test this. And now if we set T Weevil, that will set our target as Weevil. There we go, target is now Weevil. Now we need to modify our attack alias in order to use this new target variable. So back to settings. And we've got here our uh, attack alias. If we double click on here, Instead of swing one, we need to use a script. So we're going to go send the send function, and swing, and then target. Okay. And we change the pattern because we don't need to to type the target each time. Now we just leave it as A, for example. And then we just need to make sure that script is true. Click on OK. So if we type A, there we go, it's um, send the command swing weevil. OK, that's all for this first tutorial. That just covered some, uh, some very basics on creating uh, cover aliases and using a variable for targeting. Uh, in 
future tutorials we're going to cover some, uh, some more advanced topics like triggers, uh, macros and all sorts of fun things.